Hey, when I posted gameplay video on Reddit, I got a lot of questions about the game, the gameplay and some special features in it. So I decided to make this video and answer all your questions at once. Remember that the game is in very early development stage, so everything can change in the future. So don't be surprised if I change my mind in future about some features and some gameplay stuff. I picked the most interesting and common questions from Reddit and here it is. What is the goal of the gameplay? Sell potions? Use them? Having fun with combinations? One thing before I answer this question. There will be a lot of such questions about the gameplay and what to do in the game. So first I want to show you this scheme so you know my current vision of the game and what to do in it for now. So for now there are three main scenes in the game. It's main scene, trade scene and uh, creating potions scene. The main scene is for navigation and uh, doing some additional stuff. On creating potions scene we create potions, so we grind ingredients, uh, measure it and uh, add it to create the right potion. On trade scene we buy ingredients for our potions and some additional stuff like maybe recipes and something. Player can switch between the scenes, for example he first goes to buy ingredients and then he uses these ingredients to make potions in potion crafting scene. Mainly we make potions to complete orders. Every day there's another order or maybe the special orders on a week. If we complete order, we get some money and some additional resources. Now I'll show you some old sketches of my scenes, but don't get very excited. They are pretty old and uh, I changed a lot of things for now. So here you can see that on the main scene you can navigate uh, choose where to go, for example you can go to market to trade or to go to the, your lab to make potions. Uh, also you can do some additional stuff, for example uh, change your bottles for your potions uh, or test your potions to reveal effects. And also you can press the next day button, so the next day begins. Here's the main gameplay of the game where you cook and uh, create potions. So you grind your ingredients, uh, you add some stuff into boiling water, you control temperature and uh, if you do it well, you get the right potion. Here's the trade scene where you can exchange items and gold. And uh, I want to make some bargain mechanics and I guess this will be very neat. Okay, now back to questions. What is the goal of the gameplay? Sell potions? Use them? Having fun with combinations? I guess the main goal is to create special potions that you have quests on. The fun part of it is that it's not that simple to make uh, the special potion and to make it good. You will need to add special ingredients uh, in the right order uh, and to control temperature, to add water and other stuff in the lab that I want to implement soon. Will there be something mission-like? Will you need to complete orders and get money? What will the gameplay be like? There will be orders from citizens or maybe from guilds or maybe from the king and you will have to make potions for them. For example, someone asks you to make strong healing potion and he needs it today. And you can make it and get a good reward for this. But maybe you'll focus on some other potions, for example weekly potions from your main quest. Maybe the king requires some strength potions for their army. Or maybe the assassin want to get the poison to poison someone. What do you do other than crushing stuff and crafting potions? Like, what do you craft potions for? Well, as I mentioned before, you make potions to sell them to customers, to complete orders and also to get reputation and experience. Maybe you'll have some talent tree or maybe you will unlock some special equipment and maybe something around you will change depending on how you sell your potions and what kind of potions do you make. How are you designing the interaction between reagents? Will there be prescripted combinations, reactions or are you simulating a set of elemental properties and their interactions? 
I'm not sure because I didn't implement it yet. But I'm thinking about four elemental system. Some elements will have fire, water, earth and air number that will change their properties. And you will have to use the properties to make the right potion. I think that it will be really cool when I make it, but for now I'm not ready to show everything about it. What's the gameplay loop? Well, here's the to-do list of the alchemist. When the day starts, you check for the new orders. Then you go to market and buy ingredients that you need to make potions. After that you brew potions. When you have potions, you complete orders. And that's the end of the day. Every day you earn some experience, uh, some reputation and other stuff. Uh, something like this. What's the gameplay? Besides grinding leaves in the mortar, what's the objective? If we are talking about the objective on lab scene, it's to get the best potion, the right potion that we want. It's not very easy, so we need to think about what ingredients we have to use, uh, what temperature we need to maintain and other stuff. Do the colors mix when you put the orange stuff? And is the goal in the game? About the orange stuff. When I made the prototype, I thought that you could uh, mix everything in the mortar and pestle and uh, here you can see uh, what I made to show how it will look. So if you grind the green stuff, you get green goo. If you grind the orange berries, you get the orange goo. And if you mix them, you get something in the middle. But right now, I don't think that I will allow to mix the ingredients due to some problems with the gameplay and stuff. So yeah, ground ingredients will have the initial color, for example, orange berry will be orange goo, but you can mix different ingredients. About the goal. I think that there will be a goal, but I'm not sure for now. It depends on uh, what kind of gameplay I will get when I implement some stuff and uh, we'll see. I would like to know a little about the drive of the game. What are you mixing potions for? Trying to walk towards, solve problems? Are you the town, doctor, wizard, druid that you have to satisfy town folks problems? Quickly trying to research the solutions without being exposed as a fraud? Actually, I really want to make something like this, yes. Is it going to have some sort of narrative or is it just sort of experiment with different ingredients? That would be cool to have some narrative in this game and I want to do it and I have some story in my mind and I will work on it. It doesn't mean that you don't have to experiment with ingredients though. Is there a story? Do the potions have different effects? Yes, there will be a story. Player is the owner of potion store and the alchemist and he make potions. Maybe he will be a part of some guild, maybe he will be in service of the king, I'm not sure yet, but there will be some interesting plot and I will think about it soon. Yeah, potions will have a lot of different effects, I'm not sure about which ones, but um, I will think about it soon. Do you have a plans to add scale to weight ingredients and harder potions that require more precise measurements? Will there be a heating element where you need to maintain precise temperatures? The player will have to measure everything very carefully to make the right potion and not to screw it. Best potions are really hard to make and require some special ingredients or a lot of steps. Also, we'll have to control the heat and the water level, so it will be pretty interesting, I guess. So, what happens when you use something that isn't green? Well, not green ingredient will look like not green ingredient even after grinding. Do you plan on having larger scale alchemical equipment processes like alembics and retorts and stuff? I'm not sure about uh, large scale alchemical equipment, but I really wanted to implement retorts, maybe as an additional game mechanic. Any plans on including transmuting things? Maybe have turning different types of metal to gold as a quest? I thought about transmuting and I guess this will be great, but I'm not sure for now how I will implement it and will it be in the game in the end, but I will think about it for sure. 
that would be really cool to make gold out of iron or something like this. I imagine the potions will eventually change color depending on the ingredients, correct? From what you have so far, only green herbs were mixed. How dangerous will some of the recipes be? Will the game just continue when you mix the dangerous and unstable potion or will you die if you don't defuse it? Will you start with fresh batch of ingredients per stage or can you keep what you previously made? If book orders are involved, maybe making potions in book will be helpful. If you want to add a degree of difficulty, maybe have an expiration for the batch that you make that you are allowed to sell. Yeah, the ground ingredients will look the same as the initial ingredients, but uh, like ground. So the textures will change, of course, depending on the initial ingredient. If we are talking about color of the potion, I'm not sure yet what will uh, change the color of the potion, the elements, the effects, the ingredients. Um, I will think about it later. About dangerous potions. I thought about it before and decided that there will be no death uh, and uh, damage things uh, in the game. But maybe you will have some effects that will destroy your current potion. So you will lose your ingredients and will have to make it all again. About rounds and stages. For now I think the game will be separated uh, by days. And uh, that's it for now, I'm not sure about uh, anything else right now. Do you also have a power in physics or how do you fill the potion bottles? You know, at first I thought about power in physics and uh, filling bottles, but uh, right now I'm not sure that it will fit in the current game mechanics that I want to implement. So um, maybe some power in mechanics will be used uh, when you make the potion, for example, you add water into bowl, but filling potion bottles, nah, not sure about it for now. Do you get vibration feedback when you grind the pestle and mortar? About the feedback, yes. If you grind something yourself, you feel like it has some resistance and it's really satisfying to grind it. About the vibration, I'm not sure. I'm not the fan of vibration on my gamepads and uh, I always disable it, but I will think about it uh, and ask other people who uses gamepads and uh, we'll see. Test subjects. Yeah, I really like that idea and I also thought about it before. I thought about the jar with endless spiders that you use for testing your potions. For example, if you use healing potion on them, they are healed or they become bigger or something like this or if you are making burning potion uh, they are becoming to be on fire <laughs> but then i decided that i want to make some special plant to test my potions on when i implement it i will show you maybe there could be a way to unlock certain ingredients like getting the seeds for plants or something I really like the idea of planting something, for example, mushrooms or small trees or maybe small plants uh, in your basement or a special room. But for now, it seems like too different for my current gameplay mechanics. And I have to cut features because if I make too many features, I'll just never release my game. So for now, I don't think there will be some growing plant mechanics, but I will think about it later when I have most features implemented. Maybe something along the lines of Cooking Mama, where you have to prepare and cut apart ingredients before you can use them. Yeah, I thought about it and I also tried this game, but I'm not sure that it will fit in my current game mechanics. So for now it will be only grinding and uh, potion brewing. Do you have a blog or something where I could follow its process? Yeah, right now I do have a video devlog where I show progress of the game, where I explain how to implement features and make some stuff like graphics, sounds and uh, for example answer these questions <laughs> right now. So yeah. If you want to follow the process, the best way is to follow this channel or maybe become my patron if you want.
Is there a playable demo? That would probably make it easier for people to give feedback. Yes, there is a playable demo, but it's only available to some of my patrons. I don't want to make it public yet because it's very bad and not ready for showing to other people. I made prototype only to show some uh, features of the game, but if the player starts playing prototype right now, everything will just break right away. So it's just something like thanks and reward to my most loyal patrons. If you're interested, you can check out my Patreon page and uh, see if that's worth to you. Where do I get it when it's done? The main platform is PC for now. I think that I will release it on Steam. A lot of people ask if I make it for mobile, so I'm thinking about it. I already made two games on the mobile, so it won't be a problem for me. But mobile version can have some issues with controls and performance, so I'm thinking about it for now. And also I like Nintendo Switch, so I'm considering making it for this platform. How close is this to be finished? Also, how much are you planning on selling it for? I just made a prototype, so it's very, very far from finished. I just collected a lot of feedback, so it will take a lot of time to finish the game. I guess it will be about a few years. I'm not sure about the price for now, but I'm sure that the game will not be free to play. And I guess that's it for now. I hope I covered the most interesting topics, but if I didn't, what did I miss? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the new videos. If you really like my game or devlog and want to support me, you can become my patron on Patreon, you can learn more in the video on your screen. Bye bye!